Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am showing you a close-up look at the Glimmer Hot Foil Kit of the Month for September 2022 from Spellbinders. It is the Thankful For You kit. It has four hot foil plates and five dies to cut those things out and add to it. It also comes with this roll of copper hot foil, which I think is gorgeous. This is a very fall type of uh, look to these dies and plates and so we're gonna make some fall themed cards some thankful cards I am using my quick trimmer from spellbinders to cut the perfect size piece of foil to hot foil the main or largest hot foil plate in this set which is half of a frame of leaves I am doing this onto some colored cardstock that's a very light peach color and I think the copper looks so good on this color of cardstock I have my glimmer hot foil Oil system heat heated up preheated and ready to go I put my paper face down on there make sure when you're hot foiling you have your foil pretty side up on your cardstock and your foil your hot foil plate pretty side down on top of that the whole thing will then go face down on your preheated glimmer hot foil system and then I press the timer put the plates on when the timer goes off I remove that entire dock and just run it right through the die machine and then we have this beautifully transferred image and the plate is hot so be careful there and then you can see what this looks like when I remove the foil now I had a little excess foiling on there and I just like to take like a stiff bristled brush and I can brush most of that away and sometimes it just hot foils there but sometimes it's just like loose foil that collected okay this is the coordinating die so you can die cut out this gorgeous image and it leaves you with half of a diamond shape in the middle and it's just really pretty looking now we'll cut away a little bit of the foiling around the edge and um, so it doesn't leave like a white border so to speak here you can see I've done a second piece die cut it out and you can put those two pieces overlapping them a little bit to create your frame so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that into place I'm having it go over on the top side and under on the bottom side so I don't have both ends um, on the same layer and I thought this gave it a little bit more of a seamless look if that makes sense <laughs> so there it is glued together but first before we turn that into a card I want to show you another way you could use this um, I it just came to me that I could maybe hot foil this two times to create my frame so um, originally I thought this frame um, I would just like leave it on the cardstock but I didn't quite think about like placement very well so <laughs> I really was just trying to get a big enough piece of paper that I could fit this frame on you'll see here what happens and this is not my first time attempting to hot foil this twice on one piece of cardstock I had a few extras let's just say so you want to rotate this and then you can hot foil again but you see ah I didn't leave quite enough room for my frame. So since I had already done this once and this was going to be my third time, I brought in the die as kind of a visual aid to make sure before I hot foiled, I could fit that plate on there one more time. So I went ahead and hot foiled that and the third time's the charm, as they say. <laughs> it worked out so here you can see my first foiling I had a little excess again you can see it just like kind of collects there like um like it's kind of baggy around some spots so you can easily just brush that away all right so I rotated it and I made a little hinge with some tape and then I can flip that over now that I know it's lined up where I want it to be put my foil pretty side up and then flip that back over and tape it once more into place. Now, this whole thing goes onto the glimmer system face down, put the plates on, press the timer, or then when the timer goes off, run it through that machine, and then we have our transferred image. Now, are you loving this copper foil? 
I think it's so gorgeous with that little hint of brown there and it goes really good on this peach cardstock. So there is the frame, just hot foiled. Um, I'm gonna set that aside, we'll come back to that when I make card number two. But first I wanted to show you the little leaves and the little flowers that you can also hot foil. So I've done my flowers on white and my leaves on green, also using the copper foil. Um, I think it's becoming one of my favorites. Such a good color. Okay, so let's take those things and make a card. So I am laying out the frame. This is the, one, the frame where I glued the two die cut pieces out. I glued them together. I'm laying it on this piece of green cardstock so I know where I want to hot foil my sentiment that will go behind it. Again, I use that hinge method and then I was able to close that down. It's still placed right where I want it to be and then tape it in place just like that. We'll hot foil that and you can see how this foil looks um, done with the sentiment. I'm thankful for all you do. I think these would make really good teacher cards. I have a daughter who is 14. She is attending her very first year of high school, which also happens to be her very first year ever of going to public school. So I, I really like, I want to send thank you cards to these teachers. Um, I also have a senior in high school. So this year I have a freshman and a senior. So yeah, if you pray, you know, feel free to lift one up for me. <laughs> I am attaching my um, frame there. I got off track, way off track about this card. <laughs> but I am putting a window sheet over the top of this. So the front of the card is a window sheet. I've just had this like great desire to create clear cards lately. So I decided to make this one a clear card. So you can see the saying when the card is closed and when the card is open and it's just shiny and totally fun, right? But what's not fun is this, how you can see the glue dots from the inside where I attached my frame. So I die cut out the little frame two times and I'm going to glue those over the top and it'll kind of hide all that, you know, like behind the scenes part of my card and give it just a more seamless look. So we'll glue those into place and where I'm putting the glue is actually what would be the front side of the die cut, just in case you have to twist it around a million times to figure out how to glue it on like I did. Just remember, you're gonna put the glue on the front side. <laughs> so I did that to both and that really helped except for the little hair or fuzz that got caught in it. That's not cute. Does that happen to you? Yeah, I don't find that to be very cute on my card. So now I'm adding those cute little white flowers and little green leaves to the card as well. It just really helps accentuate this. This is a pretty simple card. Um, you know, it's not very busy, but it does have the cool factor of being a clear card, right? Yes, it does. So I thought the flowers really added that little extra something to make it a little bit more special. And there's another die, another two dies in this set I'm gonna use on card number two, you could also add. But first, I'm gonna add some of these confetti pieces. Um, I think this is called champagne and strawberries, but there's kind of a coppery color. So I decided to use those around my little frame because I love embellishments. Do you love embellishments? I. I have kind of a big collection of embellishments, but I use them. It's not something I hoard, so I'm proud of myself for that. All right, so there's my clear card, and now let's move on to card number two. I'm gonna make a shaker, because you can't come to this channel without seeing a shaker every few days. <laughs> I love my shaker cards. So I'm gonna be like crazy girl and fussy cut this out. Yeah, so I fussy cut around the edge and then I'm cutting out the middle. Now you could totally make a shaker with this and just glue the two pieces together. I am not sure what the benefit of this is by double foiling unless you just left it on your card and it was like a like a one layer type of situation. Um, however, I had enough trouble lining that up on my paper without thinking about placement. So if you like this, foil it once, flip it or rotate it, foil it again um, situation, you don't have to cut it out. You could just leave it on the front of your card. It would be gorgeous. And uh, here's just another option. So I added a little shading to mine with a colored pencil and then used my little blending stick to rub that out and make it nice and soft just for another layer of interest. And then I am tracing the center of this onto a piece of like rusty colored cardstock. And I'm going to cut this out, but cut a little bit 
outside the lines. Well, kind of a lot, like about a fourth of an inch outside the lines um, because I want to have room to glue it or attach it, but I also want to have room for my sentiment. So I thought I would see if I could get the sentiment to fit in this diamond the other direction, and it totally did. So I'm gonna hot foil this onto this rust cardstock. And I wasn't sure about this, like the rust cardstock, the copper foil, would it show up? And it shows up pretty good, so I was happy with that. I'm also gonna use that diamond shape that I cut out as a template for my window sheet, because I need a window for my shaker card. And I actually cut out two of them, and you'll see why in just a moment. Now here's an important step, erase your pencil marks. I made this like lighthouse scene recently with a heart. I didn't erase my pencil lines, so that was a public service announcement right there, mostly for myself. Erase your pencil lines. <laughs> All right, now we're gluing on our window sheet, first layer, and then putting a frame around this of some foam strips. This is the typical way to make a shaker. You wanna make sure your foam strips touch at the ends so your shaker bits do not escape because that is not the purpose of a shaker card. We wanna keep those things inside. Now, if I was to put my shaker elements right on top of that saying, stick my frame down, I would not be able to line my frame up with my saying very good. So I'm gonna do a little trick that I learned from my friend Cassie. She is wonderful. Her name is Cassie Trask. You can go check her out on YouTube. And I am going to sandwich this little shaker bits in there with another frame. So it's got cardstock, window sheet, foam, shaker bits, and another window sheet. Now all we need to do is glue this on and I can have all my shaker elements be down at the bottom and still be able to see my saying and line that up. So that little tip comes in handy so many times when making shakers. So everybody, give a little hand clap to Cassie. I love that idea and I use it all the time. All right, so there's my little shaker to go on my card, but I wanna dress this up even more. So I'm using the embossing folder of the month for September from Spellbinders for my background. And I thought I would show you the brand new platform from Spellbinders. This has like everything you ever need to cut, emboss, whatever is in this platform, and it's big enough for these huge new plates we have that are slimline. Okay, it's really cool. And right on the base, it tells you which plates to use. So I'm finding it very useful and very helpful, and this background to be absolutely gorgeous. It has little acorns in it and leaves and flowers. It's great for fall, but you could also extend the life of it for other seasons as well. Okay, so that is our base put onto a a2 size card and then we're going to add our frame and some more flowers so i'm going to arrange these just a little bit different just using two flowers um, next to each other i like little clusters of flowers and then i'm going to add my three leaves so i've got an odd number of floral embellishments there. I find that to be important, odd numbers. And then for the other side of my card, because I also like balance, I'm gonna add this little sprig, which is the other die in this set. Then there's a teeny tiny die that cuts out little centers, and those can be put on this little sprig right here, and also in the centers of those hot foiled flowers. So really Spellbinders thinks of everything and they have so many different kits of the month that you can get like the large die, the small die, stamps, um, embossing folder, card kits, lots. So I'm going to have a link below in the description box that you can check out all the different club kits from Spellbinders if you're not familiar with them. And I think and feel they're at a really good price point. Spellbinders put so much thought into their products. They're so detailed. Um, you should check it out because you can always like cancel if you don't want it to come another month. And yeah, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I'm not. <laughs> so there are my two cards with their embellishments. I had so much fun playing with a window sheet in a different way today that wasn't a shaker, but you know, I am a shaker girl and I got to shake all the things. So I had to make the shaker card as well and just had fun playing with copper foil. I think it's so beautiful. So I thank you for stopping by, watching my videos, giving me thumbs up and leaving comments. I do love chatting with you guys and sharing what I make is my favorite thing to do. So thank you so much for blessing me by watching this and I will see you all again very soon on the next video. Happy stamping, bye.